Hello, brother. Uh, I I think that we both agree that uh, that it's more of a man-made uh, tradition and and story uh, that people want to believe that they go to heaven or that they go to hell upon upon death. It's something that people uh, and I guess will stay with the Christian uh, people have uh, f have thought because of certain scriptures that they read and they think or have been taught that that that's what it means when when in reality we need to look deeper into the scripture to see if actually that's what it is referring to yes because there are scriptures that say like like there is weeping and gnashing of teeth so uh, people think that people are literally in hell fire being tortured but if if one looks closer into that they will realize that that's not what is actually taking place uh, also people going to heaven that they are saved upon death those that were righteous enough to to make it to be in the presence of God uh, like you say it's not in the scriptures so uh, it's just a misconception of how people have interpreted and understood scriptures and also from other stories that have been told but uh, in first Timothy six fifteen through 6 it says that only God possesses immortality and that he is and that he dwells in an unapproachable light and no man has seen or can see him this to me states that uh, this to me states that that only Christ has resurrected and has immortality uh, the rest of the people that are that have died are asleep we have scriptures that that say that that the dead are sleeping or that the sleeping people will wake up at the resurrection at the sound of the trumpet something like that but uh, so if only Christ possesses I immortality then that uh, should basically say a lot in itself that there is no people being tortured in a place called hell or that there's no people in heaven looking at God because it says that there is no man that can see him or or that has seen him uh, and I guess it's referring to his in the state that he is there in his glorified body he is so bright uh, a, a real bright shining light that it would just kill us uh, humans if we were to to see him then there's also John 3 13 that says no man has ascended to heaven except he who came down which is Jesus Christ but the uh, the story of the rich man and Lazarus uh, if you read it and want to accept it the way that it is then I understand why so many people think that people are alive in heaven and that they can talk to people in hell and back and forth and what have you but uh, 
it, it's a parable. And for some reason or another, this is one of those parables that Christ did not uh, explain. But uh, if we search the scriptures, uh, the answer is there. Uh, the rich man is actually the Pharisees, the, the Jews. Uh, Lazarus uh, is the Gentiles or the non-Jewish people. Also, the word soul in Hebrew is nefesh and it refers to a living, breathing creature, flesh and blood. So it could be both human or uh, animal. And <clears throat> the word, and forgive me for not pronouncing it correctly, Ruach is spirit and that is more like a breath. It's one's breath and it's also a spirit like an angel. So both man and animals have Ruah and both man and animals are Nefesh but in Ecclesiastics 3 19 to 21 uh, it says that the spirit of man goes back to the one who gave it and the spirit of the beast uh, stays in the ground. And so, uh, also when uh, when Christ went to uh, proclaim to the spirits in in hell or in uh, Tartaro, uh, it's. It says, uh, 1 Peter 3, 18 through 20, uh, here we read that Jesus went to make a proclamation to the spirits now in prison who were disobedient when the patience of God kept waiting in the days of Noah. So who are these spirits? Uh, we just, uh, in, in Ecclesiastics, 319 it says that the spirits of man goes back to God so it cannot be the spirits of a wicked people so in 2nd Peter 2 4 it says God cast the sinning angels into hell or Tartaro and committed them to chains of darkness reserved for the day of judgment so in comparing 1st Peter 3 and 2nd Peter 2 I'm assuming that the spirits that Christ went to talk to were the fallen angels uh, if you have a different concept on this I would be interested in in finding out about it Let's see how much time do I got I'm gonna have to stop in a few minutes but also I think it's in Revelations uh, 21 where it says that death uh, is done away with, the former things are done away with. Uh, therefore, if death and mourning is done away with, uh, it's a new earth, a new heaven, new skies and everything, then uh, hell is also done away with therefore the wicked people cannot exist in a state of being tortured and punishment forever and ever because that comes to an end also and I gotta stop <laughs>